Fletcher here with DJ Event Planner, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to easily send a contract to an event utilizing a booking helper. To do this, we're going to need three things. First of all, of course, a contract setup. Second, we will need an email template to send that contract. And third, we will need a booking helper. So to begin, first make sure that you have a contract set up in your account. Here we're going to work with our wedding DJ contract. We want to make sure that our e-signature settings are set to where we want them to be. And once you've made those changes, of course, click save. Next, we need to create an email template to send that wedding DJ contract. Here inside of my email templates, I have a template already set up for contract e-signature wedding DJ. When creating an email template for a contract, you will need to insert an e-signature document link. Simply highlight or place your cursor where you want that e-signature document link to be. Click the e-signature document links button. Select the document that you'd like to link to. In this case, we'd like to link to the wedding DJ contract, of course, and insert it inside of the email template. Once all of your settings here are finished, make sure to click save. Lastly, we need to set up our booking helper. To do that, go to Setup, Application, and then Booking Helpers. Here we're going to add a new booking helper to send our wedding DJ contract. The title of the booking helper will appear in the booking helper dropdown. If you add a button title, it will appear as a button at the top of your event. So in this case, we're going to title it Send Wedding DJ Contract. You can also give the button a color for easy visual classification. Next, we need to make sure that we have it visible to the event statuses that we want to see it on. In this instance, I'm going to select All. Next, to send a contract, there's only a few things that we need to set up. First of all, we need to update our event status once we utilize this booking helper. In this case, we're going to set it to Contract Sent. We need to email the client the email template that we just set up. And lastly, we need to add a contract sent date. So under Dates and Times, we're going to set the contract sent date to the current date, and then of course, click Save Settings. Next, we will want to navigate to an event that we want to send a contract to. Once we're on that event, we will now see our new Booking Helper button, Send Wedding DJ Contract. When we click on that button, a confirmation window will pop up, letting us know what will take place. Contract Sent will be the new status. It's going to email the contract e-signature, Wedding DJ, and it's going to set the contract sent date to the current date. Once you click OK, a confirmation window will pop up on the right, which will show you if there was any errors that took place during that booking helper running. You will now notice that our event status has updated a contract sent and under the email tab, the contract has been sent to the client. And that is it. That is the easy way to send a contract utilizing a booking helper. If you have multiple contracts for different services, you can set up a booking helper and email templates to send each type of contract. Should you have any questions or encounter any trouble while you are working with booking helpers inside of DJ Event Planner, again, make sure to find us on the support form or hit us up on live chat. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to like, comment, or share on YouTube as well as on Facebook. Happy planning and we'll see you in the next video.